We think we've got something that is. And we'd like to show it to you today for the first time. And we call it the iPad. The iPad. I said it before and I say it again. This is an extremely portable, powerful and lightweight, well-designed and well-built machine. They got even better with iPad OS. But we can forget that in essence everything revolves around the available apps. So all of these enunciated qualities would be of no use if the available apps were not also of quality and designed to optimize those qualities. Today's video is the first in a series of videos where the goal is to let you know what are the best apps available in different categories. In today's video, I'll tell you what are the best note-taking apps. Hello everyone, my name is Roger, welcome to my channel. Apps. There's no way to avoid it. If you want to squeeze the full potential out of the iPad, you need to make use of the apps available on the App Store. One of the things iPad can be used for is taking notes, especially after Apple introduced Apple Pencil. Whether at school, college, work or any other circumstance, taking notes via iPad is fast, with secure storage and without carrying notebooks or notepads that can be lost or damaged later in any circumstances. App Store is full of note-taking applications that can satisfy all tastes and needs. Some are free, others require a one-time purchase and others require a monthly subscription. So, which one to choose? Well, the first two suggestions that I bring you here are not new to anyone, or at least not new to anyone who has heard of note-taking apps. I speak of notability and good notes. Choosing any of these applications is a guaranteed good choice. Both offer similar solutions at various levels, but are still quite different in how they present themselves to the user. Notability lets you create subjects that group notes and divisions that group subjects. It has a dark mode and allows you to choose different paper sizes. I don't especially like the look of my handwriting in this app. You can define the shape and size of the line as well as choose from a set of colors. Among the various tools available is the ability of using markers or the possibility of selecting a part of the text through the lasso tool, which we can then duplicate, cut, erase or resize. You can also convert handwriting to automatic text. You can also add images directly from the photo gallery or scan a document for annotation. It's also possible to enter automatic text directly, although this is not the main function of this app. You can also record audio as you take notes, which allows you to correct or complement our notes after. It's also possible to import PDF files for later annotation. These and many other features make this app very complete and a very good choice for those who want to join the paperless movement. Despite being very good, this app is not perfect. There are some limitations on how we organize our notes or the inability of placing two representations of the same page side by side are just some examples of the critics that I can point out. These limitations do not exist in GoodNotes, which has a different presentation that allows us to create folders and notebooks. In each folder we can create new folders and new notebooks and so on and on. Its graphic presentation comes closer to what would be the existence physical notebooks that we would use in school, college or any other circumstance. 
There is also the possibility of creating a quick note without worrying how we catalog into any notebook or folder. You can also scan documents or import PDF documents for a notation. The notebooks we create allow for much greater freedom in the type of presentation we can choose or the type of paper we can write on, with the possibility of importing formats other than those available in the app. I like how the app recreates my handwriting format, can choose the style of the pen and use a marker. One advantage that I found in this regard is that, unlike the notability marker, the text here always overlaps the marker ink. It also has a lasso function, which, once selecting the text, also allows to convert the handwriting text to automatic text, and which, in case, I think does a better job than the Notability app. Unlike Notability, it is not possible to record at the same time as we take notes, but it has an interesting pointing function to use, for example, when connecting the iPad to an external monitor. With the update carried out with the introduction of the iOS 13, this app has now made it possible to have side-by-side -side two representations of the same page that we are annotating. In either case, this presentation is far from spelling out all the functionality of each of these fantastic applications that, by the solution it offers, allows much more than a traditional notebook would allow. Whatever choice you make between these two alternatives will always be a very good choice and, for most people, will fit all their needs. I personally use both applications for different purposes. So, I use the Notability mostly as a repository of all the PDFs that I have stored on my iPad and I want to annotate, organized by themes. I use GoodNotes as I would use a physical notebook, taking advantage of all the other features that provides without even worrying about waste of paper. But there are some direct competitors. As I said, these are for me the best apps currently available on the App Store for taking notes. However, there are some interesting alternatives that I think deserve to be mentioned, like Flexil. Flexil is a great app for taking notes, especially if you want to combine notes with PDFs. Allows you to create folders and folders within folders where you can store and organize the various PDF files. PDF are annotable with Apple Pencil, it allows the use of markers, you can create automatic text box and insert images. But for me, the icing on the cake comes from the fact that along with each PDF, we can create a notebook for that PDF. In this notebook, we can insert handwritten or automatic tests or past texts we have copied from PDF. These notebooks are configurable at various levels. Flexil is a great alternative, especially for those who use many PDF documents. Since we talk about PDFs, for me, PDF Expert is the best app for managing and annotating PDFs. This application has recently been updated, which in some way made this app a little less interesting, since in order to have access to all functions, you need to purchase the Pro version by paying a monthly subscription. However, it has a free set of tools that alone are worth a try. Once again, this app lets you create file folders where you can organize your PDFs. You also have the ability to scan documents for later annotation. Once you open the PDF document, you can annotate, underline and use bookmarks. It allows the insertion of automatic texts, post-it notes, some figures and errors. It also allows complete PDF editing, with the ability to rewrite text, insert images, links or simply hide sensitive information in the document. Along with these features, PDF Expert allows the creation of a notes document, which can be used within a PDF file or autonomously, which combined with the split view function allows you to take handwritten notes while reading the PDF. PDF Expert is therefore much more than a PDF annotator, and can be for many a great solution for anyone who wants to have a note-taking application.
undoubtedly the best app available if you want to convert handwriting to automatic text. Conversion can be done line by line or at the end when you have written all the notes you want. It has several interesting functions such as the ability to correct a word or underline text. The various updates to which it has been subject were also bringing new features, such as the possibility of writing automatic texts, the ability to draw, insert diagrams or do mathematical calculations. The form of organization is very simple. You can create collections or notebooks. In notebooks you can basically just choose the color of the cover and the name. The application learns from you as you write, so the more you write, the better the conversion. Then you can export the text in various formats. This is the application I use when I just want to take notes that I want to export later. Finally, there's the Apple's native notes application. Apple is always mindful of what its competitors are doing and is offering in its native app some features it recognizes that users are looking for in other apps. It is always hard to find the balance between the offering a native app that has some interesting qualities that avoids that consumers say bad things about it and the need to create an app that is not so good that leads consumers to ignore other offerings available in the App Store, which would be also bad for business. And the Notes native app is precisely that, an app that's good enough to be used from time to time, but not too good that will make you lose interest in other apps that you can buy from App Store. You can now organize folders, use Apple Pencil, draw, insert tables or handwrite. You can also scan documents for later annotation. An interesting feature is that when you have iPad turned off, a new note can be activated immediately with a single tab with the Apple Pencil. And that's what I wanted to bring here to you today. If you're looking for a note-taking app, I'm sure that in any of these apps you'll find a solution to what you're looking for. If you like this video, leave a like. Leave also a comment if you want me to do a deeper analysis of each of these apps and enable the notification bell if you want to see the next video where I'm going to talk about what are for me the best word processing apps available on the App Store.